Um, in this video, I'm going to show um, three um, methods to define the uh, Floyd volume in um, Design Modeler to um, kind of uh, prepare your geometry for CFT simulations. As you know, that when you are doing the CFT simulations, for example, in this orifice pipe, you need to uh, define the uh, volume of the Floyd um, to uh, export that to meshing and uh, fluent. So there are three main methods. First is a old school method, not using any like specific like um, tools for uh, from the design modeler. The first one is to just um, create a cylinder inside, then subtract this one um, from that cylinder. I will show you how you can do that. So uh, first, let's define a, a plane on the face of this one. So create new plane and um, type um, instead of from plane we can go from circle so um, we will select this edge so it will create a plane with the origin at the center of the circle so let's generate so on that plane we'll define a new sketch so I will click on this sketch sketching mode so we will um, create a circle here from the origin to the edge of this uh, circle. So we'll go to modeling, click on the sketch, extrude. So um, geometry, this is sketch, then um, direction vector. Uh, let's select this plane. So this uh, uh, it's going to <coughs> by default go to the uh, positive Z so we can change the direction then uh, uh, extension uh, extend type instead of fixed we can go to the surface so we can select this surface then apply then generate so it will create a cylinder so let me go to this body and press F9 to hide this body it's a cylinder so it's not the real uh, Floyd uh, geometry we are looking for. So what will I do? Um, I will show all bodies. So I will create, uh, go to create, Boolean. Um, I will create a subtract. Target body is the Floyd body. The tool body is the orifice flange. And uh, I want to keep the uh, orifice flange body. So I. I will change this one to yes. So if I generate the boolean, you will see we will have two bodies. One is the this orifice flange. If I hide this one by pressing F9, you will, now you can see we have this um, Floyd geometry which has four holes. As um, I will hide this one, and show this one. It has four holes, so it kind of subtracted this. Um, solid from that Floyd body so we can export that Floyd body to fluent and define inlet outlet to calculate pressure drop heat transfer coefficient or whatever you want to calculate this is very old school you can do that in do this method in any um, 3d CAD modeling um, the second method is um, using um, defined tools in the uh, design modeler there's a a field tool in design modeler this is uh, it has um, two uh, extraction types by cavity and by caps so I will um, explain the by cavity first so for the by cavity you need to um, select all the surfaces um, like touching that Floyd kind of the, the surfaces will be in contact with Floyd so um, you can either select all then unselect the outer surfaces or um, just zoom in and click on the hold control and click on the inner surfaces of this body so I will make sure that I have selected all of the surfaces so I will go to this side here okay we are missing this surface 
and I think that's all. So we have selected all of the inner services, so I will click apply, then generate. So it will create a new body, and um, if I hide this one by clicking on this one and pressing F9, and you will see that we have this um, new um, solid body, which is the Floyd geometry. But as you can see in this method, we have these kind of surfaces because our uh, main body had this faces. So we just um, easily can select these and uh, use a tool uh, and merge these faces. So apply and merge so it will get rid of those lines extra uh, faces but make sure that when you merge this one it's better to merge uh, let me hide this one and show this body so we can uh, merge these at the beginning so when you create the solid body it will not have that faces especially if you are going to have a for example conjugate heat transfer it's better to uh, have the exact same faces on the uh, Floyd body and solid body. So this is the second method, which was the fill and the method of bicavity. Um, for more um, um, complicated geometries, let's say we have a very complicated inner geometry, we can just select one of them, one by one. This one is simple one. So I uh, let's say we have a very complicated inner body and we can't just select all of the faces and we, we, we are aware, uh, afraid that we might miss some faces. So what we can do is uh, first uh, go to concepts, create surface from edges. So here I will select this by holding control. I will select these edges at the end. So uh, I will click apply. If you have, uh, like, if you had a stem of the valve here, you can hide this one and click, um, select this top. So, kind of um, defining the, the Floyd um, geometry inside that one. So, I will click generate, and you will see that now we have two um, kind of virtual faces here one here and one on this side. So, I will uh, to create a Floyd um, body inside this. Um, confined uh, volume by these surfaces I will again go to the uh, tools fill and um, instead of by cavity this time I will choose by cap and I will leave it alone the target body all bodies if you have different bodies you can select the body and press generate and in the fill uh, as you can see we uh, selected pre preserve cav uh, capping bodies as known so it kind of automatically deletes those surfaces you have created, the virtual surfaces with the zero uh, thickness. So again, you will see that um, if I select and press F9, you will see that uh, we created the uh, Floyd, uh, uh, Floyd volume inside uh, this uh, valve. So uh, that's this for this video. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Please uh, subscribe to our channel like and uh, share our videos um, and uh, thank you for watching.